It's the season of the worker. I'm telling you right now, if you're not afraid of work, if you're not afraid of blood, sweat, and tears, you're gonna be just fine. And we're gonna give you my top 10 list for side hustles that'll help put money in your pocket that don't require a lot of money to get started and don't require a lot of skill. They just require you to be able to get up in the morning and go get your butt to work. All right, so here we go. At the top of the list, if you're a YouTuber and you've been checking out videos, you've probably seen these guys running around. They're pressure washing. Now this is the most expensive entry because they're using a gas pressure washer. You can get them under a thousand bucks, about 600 or 700 bucks on sale. And you can get one of these units and you can actually work door to door in your neighborhood. You can clean driveways, you can clean siding, you can use it to clean off old deck paint and stain, clean off brick. You can clean off all kinds of organics that get trapped on people's roofs and in their siding and their bricks and on their walkways. Basically, it's the ability to just do a lot of manual work. It's time consuming, right? It's, you're out there, you're in the sun, it's a lot of water, it's high humidity. And I'll be honest with you, rich old people don't wanna do that. They wanna pay someone to do that. So hey, you know what? If you're young and you're full of spit and vinegar, that's a great job for you because you can charge a couple hundred dollars an hour to clean stuff for people. And wouldn't the world be better if it was clean? Consider that as an idea. Number two on the list. Let's face it, this list is not mind blowing. It's not earth shattering. It is just basic stuff that you already do at your own house. House. window cleaning hello just the other day there was a firefighter who's working on his day off across the street cleaning the windows for a neighbor he's not afraid of getting on a ladder he drives around with a ladder and cleans people's houses what a great idea you know he's just out there getting some exercise and some fresh air and getting paid to make the world a prettier place love the idea cheers to him because that's the kind of stuff that if you have a day off go to work now remember inflation means that everything's getting more expensive and if you're living in a situation where your income doesn't quite cover all those bills and then next month if it goes up again you're in trouble now it's a great time to start because a couple hundred dollars on a saturday goes a long way right you do that four times in a month that just makes inflation somebody else's problem Right? Next one you can do is you can do exterior caulking. Doesn't sound very sexy, does it? But the truth is this, a lot of homes out there are built before 1980. Back in those days, all they really had was paint and caulking as part of the weatherproofing on the outside of a house. And when the caulking is exposed to sun, it deteriorates and degrades and cracks. Water can get in. If water get in, the house gets wet. When the house gets wet, the bugs eat it. When the bugs eat it, the house goes to crap, right? And so you lose value. So keeping a good caulking seal on the outside of your house is mandatory. A lot of people, again, don't want to get up there using knives and tools on a step ladder, cleaning it out. You're in the sun, it's hot, you're baking. It's a sweaty, nasty job, but you can charge really good money for that. That would be considered a handyman service. And the average handyman in North America is making 85 bucks an hour. So don't sell yourself cheap, go out there, do some caulking and make a lot of money. Next thing on the list is you can actually advertise your services to go into people's homes and be careful, but you can hang pictures and you can hang TVs. You're what's called an installer. You means you've got a power drill, you know how to use a basic tool and you can go out there with a level and a drill and you can install all kinds of stuff for people. There are people moving every day all over the world and they would much rather pay someone for one day, go around the house with them and help them install all of their pictures, mount the TVs, do all that kind of stuff. One and done, get their life organized and move on. You can hire yourself out, provide that service and you you can actually make a pretty good buck doing it. Next thing on the list, something everybody does, hopefully, clean in your house. There's an amazing amount of people. I would say probably in around 35 to 50 million people in the United States right now looking for someone to be a regular part of their maintenance program to clean their house. Whether it's weekly, monthly, or daily, these positions are available. And you don't have to go to an agency to get them filled and work by the hour for somebody else. You can find your own customers, create your own relationships, and get top dollar for the work. It's a great way to make a little side money. Besides, if eggs go up another buck a dozen and you're making an extra two, three, four, five hundred dollars a week, who gives a rip? It's temporary. We'll get to the other side. In the meantime, you can put food on the table, put money in your pocket, and eliminate the stress of what everybody else is freaking out about on the news. You don't have to be subjected to what the world is offering. You can go out and take your own piece of the pie. Another great option here, anybody who owns a vehicle, right? If you got a pickup truck and you're not using it and it's sitting in a driveway, you're losing money. Do deliveries, pick up trash for people. Use that box on the back axle and put it to work with your spare time. You're making payments anyway, you might as well put it to work and help take care of the payments. Because if you can do deliveries and remove trash once a week, all of a sudden you get a free truck. Because you can cover the cost of the car repairs and all your fuel no matter what the cost is per gallon or liter, depending where you're watching. Another good option here is assemble furniture. Last time I checked, IKEA is still selling a ton of this stuff. And a lot of people don't want to have to assemble it. And they put ads out. And they say, hey, so if you advertise your services, I'll come and install a good Morgan vanity or I'll do your bookshelves or 
I'll help install all, all of your kitchen cabinets for you. There are people out there that pay for that service because let me tell you, I am a big fan of installing IKEA kitchens. We've done a couple of these projects, but if I could have somebody do it for me, and I did, I made my son do it. Wow, what a time saver, right? Yeah, you had to do a couple of boxes twice. It's not the end of the world. And the more you do this stuff, the more proficient you get at it, the more money you can make by the hour. Another one of my favorites is cleaning out the gutters. Yeah, it's nasty, but it only takes a few minutes and you're basically using somebody else's equipment, which is their water. I mean, all you do is wash it out and clean it up. And it's important because if your gutters aren't cleaned out, then they get full of debris and then the plants start to grow in your gutters. We've all seen it, drive down the street and you look up there and go, hey, is that a bloody palm tree in the guy's roof? Yep, you know it, because they're not cleaning them out. Which means when it does rain and you're in a Southern climate, all that water is going right at the edge of your foundation, which is not a foundation, it's a slab. So then they get all that water washing and eroding away the sand underneath your foundation. Sooner or later, these houses have the same problem. All the weight on that unsupported, it cracks right in the middle of your living room. Clean your gutters, folks. Protect your investment. And if you're not going to do it, pay someone to do it. And then of course, one of the other ones, second last on the list, all right, bear with me. It's called seasonal lawn care. A lot of people have bought this dream of owning property. They got beautiful gardens, but you know what? We have seasonal issues. Four season climate, we got snow, we got ice, grass cutting, we've got leaves to rake, right? We got all kinds of stuff going on, edging to do. There's no list to services that you can provide people so that they can sit back in the comfort of their own home, having air conditioning, watching the game, drinking a margarita while someone else is doing the work for them. There's no disrespect in being the guy doing the work. Ain't nothing wrong with honest, good, hard work. Blood, sweat, and tears is gonna lift you up, out, and over whatever situation you're in. So don't you dare allow yourself to feel lower class, all right? I'm telling you right now, the days come when people who work for a living are going to be the only people anybody cares about. You're going to be the new middle upper class. All those folks making a living on computers will be replaced by computers. And the guys that can unplug a toilet going to be worth a thousand dollars a plug. Last on the list, of course, is being a handyman. And that requires time and energy and investment. But if you own your own house, I'm telling you right now, you take time investing in your own self. Learn the skills. Get comfortable with the tools. Be able to do just about anything under the sun. The days are coming when a handyman is going to be worth $200 an hour and it's not very very far from now. I already know of services that are charging 135 to 150. $200 an hour is going to be the new national average in less than five years. So don't be afraid to develop those skills. Handymen are the one guy. We're the guys that everybody said, hey, don't become that guy. Go to school, get a degree, learn about computers. And here we are. Now the whole world is crumbling around us. Nobody wants to work. Nobody can find anybody to work for their company. And if you're a handyman, you're the only guy keeping the lights on and the water running and the roads working. So take some pride in it because the world is swinging and sooner or later, they're going to need you more than you need them. I'm telling you right now, I can't wait because all my high school teachers thought I was going to be a waste of time. They had no faith in me, but you know what I had? I had four babies. I woke up every morning. I didn't need to watch no motivational speech. All I had to do was look at them and said, blood, sweat, and tears, baby. I don't care what it's going to take. I know the rules of the game. I can outwork the guy next to me and I will outlive him too. Cheers till next time.